Hey guys, if you're a subscriber to my channel, you may have seen my recent uh, unboxing and review of this Aklat Steel Tongue Drum. And if you have been a subscriber for a while, you might have seen my previous review of this um, Mini Vibe Drum. And so one of my subscribers asked me recently, he said, which one do you like better? And um, I said, well, you know, they're both just different. And then I got an idea. Why not do a video and let you guys decide? So we're going to um, compare the two here today. We're going to compare, they're both 10 inch steel tongue drums, as you can see. We're going to compare the Aklat to the Mini Vibe Drum. Okay, so both of these drums are about 10 inch diameter and I'm trying to hold them close to the same distance from the camera. I'm having a little trouble here, but they're both almost the exact same size around. They might be within about a quarter inch of each other. So they're both about the same size. Um, however, the thickness or the uh, depth, whatever you want to call it, is quite different. The Vibe Drum is much uh, flatter than the Aklat. The Aklat is a lot more um, kind of jelly bean shaped, I guess you'd say, and this one is more like flying saucer shaped. I can tell you that the Vibe Drum is a little bit heavier. This is definitely lighter. Additionally, I don't know if I'll be able to show this. Let me see if I can get... If you look how those tongues are kind of raised up, you can see the thickness of the metal and the metal is quite thick on this vibe drum. It is quite thick. On the Aklat here, and it's probably gonna be really hard to see, but if you could see it in person, you could tell the metal is much, much thinner. And that's probably where the weight comes from is the heavier metal. Now the Advantage or disadvantage, depending on how you want to look at it, of the lighter metal, it takes very little pressure to activate the note. Just a little bit of pressure will activate that note. However, I also noticed that when you're playing it, if you really start hitting hard, when you hit this note, it's rattling the three or four notes on either side of it because the metal is thinner, and so it's kind of picking up those vibrations. And so even though I'm just hitting one note, I'm actually activating three or four notes. Now on this one with the, with the larger or the thicker metal, I hit that note, that's the only note I get. It doesn't like rattle. You might get just a, well, maybe just a teeny bit of the note next to it, immediately next to it on the big one, but certainly not on these smaller ones. You just get that note. But I don't know if it's gonna be evident from the video. I'm hitting it a lot harder here to get that sound. So it does take more pressure to activate the note. So additionally, if I push on one of the tongues here, and hopefully the camera can see this, you see how that flexes. And I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on it. I'm just pushing on it just a little bit. And you can see that that tongue has a lot of flex to it because the metal is relatively thin. Now on this one, on the vibe drum, if I come in here and I push on that tongue, I mean, it moves a little, but not very much at all. It's, it, the, you can tell the metal is a lot heavier. And again, that there's good and bad for, for why you might want each, but this is definitely a heavier built drum. Additionally, this one is made of stainless steel. Um, and this one is made of a what uh, Aklat calls a titanium alloy. They don't tell anything about the other uh, metals that are in the alloy. I don't know if it's mostly aluminum or steel or what. They just say that it's a titanium alloy. Um, whereas this one is stainless steel. So the construction is a little different between the two as well. One advantage that the Aklat has is it has these feet on the bottom. So if you want to play it on a flat surface, you can. Uh, this one, if you set it on a flat surface, you, it will not ring right because it will deaden some of the bass and then as you hit the notes, it'll kind of, kind of rattle around. So this one is not good to play on a flat surface um, you know, by itself. Now for either one, I keep around this little cushion here and for both of them, I actually play them on this cushion um, for the, the times that I've played them. I think it's a lot more comfortable to play it on the cushion. Now I did try playing both of them without the cushion and without the cushion, I found the vibe drum to be a lot more comfortable to play because of the shape, how it's more saucer shaped. Um, it sits better in your lap 
This one, because it's so uh, kind of round, it has a tendency when it's in your lap to kind of want to rock each way, especially as you're hitting it. And so um, while this one has the advantage of being able to be played on a hard surface, I don't prefer it when you're playing it without a pillow. It, it's definitely kind of awkward to play on your lap. This one, on the other hand, is very ergonomic to play on your lap. Both of them come with a gig bag. This has an inner sleeve as well. Um, both of them come with mallets. And this one has double-ended mallets. This one has single-ended mallets. This one also additionally includes a little um, song book and some finger picks that I actually didn't like the finger picks at all, so I, I, I wouldn't consider that an advantage. But so they both come with their set of accessories. They both also include free shipping. The cost on this one at the time of this review is about $90. The cost on this one is about $214. This one is in the C major scale at 440 hertz, and as far as I can tell, that's the only option for this drum. This one is tuned in the desert scale, which is a scale that um, Vibe Drums came up with theirself, but it's, it's essentially an augmented uh, D minor scale. Yeah, D, E minor, excuse me. So I'm in the E minor scale, and this particular one is tuned at 432 hertz. Um, Vibe Drums does offer four different scales on this drum, and they offer all of them at either 440 or 432, and they will do custom scales on request, provided they can make it work with the drum, of course. So, um, if, if the tuning, if you want a specific scale or you want something at 432 hertz, this is going to be a huge advantage. If your ears like minor chords, this is going to be a huge advantage. If you are all good with the C minor or C major scale, this is a, a great option for you.
All right, so now you've kind of seen the differences between them. Like I said, one isn't better or worse, they're just both different. If you like the flexibility of scales and you like the ability to get 432 hertz and you like you want something that's a little heavier, louder metal, this is probably your contender. If you're looking for something a little more budget-minded or if you wanna play it on a hard surface, this might be your contender right here. They're both pretty nice drums, um, you know, just make, make your choice. But there you go, there's a little comparison of the mini vibe drum and the Aklat steel tongue drum.